Why do I still read the New York Times? I have no idea why, but I feel like I should. I like to read Krugman whose first name is Nobel Prize winning economist Paul. <laughs> he's not only smart, he's hip. He even attends hipster music festivals, mostly, he says, for the people watching. Looking at all the young people with tattoos, he thought, where do all these people work? They can't all be baristas. Oh, yes, they can. Do you know how many tattooed people it takes to make my coffee in the morning? In my experience, it makes, you know, the more tattoos, the better the coffee. Krugman doesn't waste that Nobel Prize winning name of his, theorizing that it has to be a cultural version of Veblen's conspicuous consumption, where the point is not to display your wealth, but instead to display your indie cred. Now I know why I read the Times. There's such a bunch of squares, they make me feel like a hipster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Anthony, that is classic Krugman, isn't it? What kind of theorizing was he doing? I, I didn't think it was possible for Krugman to present himself as more of an out-of-touch elitist, but <laughs> here he is, you know, like, it, it, like he, he's, he's supposedly a Princeton professor. Surely, even at that school, there's well-to-do kids that have a little ink on them, no? <laughs> well, apparently not. I mean, he, he does attend these music festivals, though. For he the people they're... watching. Exactly. Yeah. He uh, likes the music, too. He's... He says he likes the yeah. music, but the thing is, why did, uh, does Paul Krugman not get out much? Everywhere I go, everyone is covered with tattoos. Mm. Yeah, and all you have to do is put a shirt on, <laughs> and then they're covered. And exactly. then you could go to work. I, there's all, a lot of people in For all these viewers, no, I could be covered with tattoos. Yeah, I could be covered with that. With, I am covered with tattoos. <laughs> I got a full back tattoo, actually. I really, you really? I almost believe what you just I said. Do, well, is, wouldn't you like to know? No, she doesn't. Trust me. <laughs> she doesn't. I mean, unless it's on your the word murder is <laughs> so, tattooed somebody, backwards somebody on your neck. There's no the there's no cultural so taboo about it anymore. People well, and Dagan and I have both been very vocal on how much yeah, we I, like I am, a man with a tattoo. I am deep into hot guys covered in tattoos. Well, hot both, guys. No, but hot tattoos guys. make you hot. Two, Not, both, nah, both arms, nah. both legs. Yeah, but. but Full sleeve. Come on. Uh, but, what, you know, but, it, but tattoos won't get in the way of you getting a job. It's the fact that you smell like your artisanal bacon jam that you're making in your apartment. That's where the hipster style I'd want is. a phlebotomist exactly. to be, a ta you know, <laughs> with a tattoos. To, you know, I'd be like, oh, this guy knows about needles. <laughs> well, this, this, was, this was Krugman's you know theory. That, that, <laughs> this guy, or my heroin dealer, he knows about needles. I'm glad he got tattoos, yeah. bro. He's like, don't even worry, man. Do it all the time. That's how that guy with tattoo talks. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> tattoos, it's, not, it's, not a, it's a white thing, isn't it, Godfrey? Tattoos? No, not at all, no, man. Not no, at all. Do you not no, watch no. the NBA? Yeah, Are you exactly. Out of your mind? Or any sport? I like how you got. I it's, like that. It's a white thing, isn't yeah, it, Godfrey? Godfrey? Well, no, he's talking I'm about the hate. I'm trying to make it. Tom goes right the... to the racial. Hey, Godfrey, <laughs> me and you, I'm Negro to white man. <laughs> I'm it's a white thing, God isn't it? Appearance and not talk about <laughs> black issues. I love it. We need to. It could work out. He goes, Godfrey, let's get right to it. I got black <laughs> issues and I want to talk about them now. <laughs> <laughs> Having a tattoo, isn't it a white man's thing? And you took it from us. <laughs> <laughs> actually, tattooing is a Native American thing, actually. And the white man took it. Whatever. Well, anyway. I'm no, not. No, no. <laughs> Godfrey, I am not a tattoo guy. I'll me neither. We're both. You know. Really? We would never know. <laughs> yeah. That's like me saying that I have a bunch of tattoos going back to Berlin. Uh, but you'd be surprised who has tattoos. Would you be stunned if 10 years from now, uh, President, Obama re President Obama revealed an ankle tattoo from back in his Troom Gang days? And would anyone care? Yeah. An ankle like, tattoo is a little weak. Well, he, he's, he's cool. He's cool soccer, for an ankle tattoo. Soccer players play would do the ankle tattoo thing. I'm he just saying, did. He actually said he was considering getting a tattoo so that it would appear unhip to his daughters and they wouldn't get tattooed. Interesting. Yeah. That's that's. Uh, yeah, that's can we bring this level. back to yeah. criticizing the New York Times? That was the point of my monologue. <laughs> How out of touch these people are in their yes. ivory tower, right, Dagan? It's true. Yeah. Why are you reading it? That's the point. It's so uncool to read the New York Times. Is it? Yes. It is. But how do they still call themselves the paper of record when it's all a bunch of people talking to themselves? It's ridiculous. It's like they, t this weekend, I guarantee you, they write some, some long art section piece about the Kardashian family like they just discovered them. Oh, yeah. Then they put a, a you know, kind of high end. Or they'll, on they'll it, right? pick a no. random dilapidated city in this country and call it the next Brooklyn. <laughs> exactly. Well, right, 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 right. 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 Then Anthony. whites are taking over. <laughs> how different is the New York Times from Reason Magazine, other than the fact that there's no libertarians there and all you have is libertarians at your magazine? Uh, well, I believe uh, John Tierney is a science correspondent at the New York Times. 
and, that's right. and we consider him a friend, fellow traveler. That's uh, right. We, we try to stay, we, first of all, we try to engage other people who disagree with us, which doesn't really happen too often at the New York Times. And uh, I think our outreach and our, our willingness to kind of criticize ourselves when it's necessary and not, you know, kind of project a, a bubble philosophy is the biggest difference between reason and the New York Times. You put a very kind or gentler approach to libertarianism, unlike Andy Levy's hard-edged approach. Uh, well, I, you know, Andy, again, another fellow traveler, and I, I can't speak for his cruelty to you yeah. on this show, but mm -hmm. um, if, 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 you know, I'm, I'm sure he'll have his moment to defend himself. And, yeah, we'll, and, we'll and see you, what yeah. happens. New York then. Times is like Nike, man. It's just New York Times. It always sounds cool. New York Times. It's yeah. dope. It's like it's been around a long time. Like Chicago Tribune, New York Times. <laughs> Boom. I feel smart when I have New York Times in my hand. Period. You know, I keep from getting shot when I have New York Times in my hand. <laughs> Police will go, oh, you're reading. You're lucky it's the New York Times. <laughs> See, if it were feds or XXL or as a source, the Times is just a really You're in danger. You're in danger. <laughs> I gotta have New York Times in my hand. All brothers, keep New York Times in your hand. Keep you from getting shot. <laughs> okay, speak.